All right. I'm Tessa Smith with Mama's Geeky. <laughs> Thank you so much for taking the time to talk <laughs> with me today. I really, really appreciate it. No, thank you so much for having me. It's oh, a pleasure I... to be here. I, lo I love the name of, uh, <laughs> of your... <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you. <laughs> well, I loved this movie. Let me tell you, I brought my kids to the screening and then we went and paid to see it again because they were like, can nice. we go see Blue Beetle? Um, so I've got a first thing I got to start off with is how did it feel when they were like, hey, actually, we're going to put this in theaters instead of uh, HBO Max? It, um, you know, we even though we got the HBO Max uh, mandate at the time, uh, we knew that we wanted to do something for theatrical. And so we treated it as such. You know, we didn't we didn't think about it small. We didn't um slack on the world building on 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 the actions it was just like we 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 wanted to show them that that it's worth putting a, a film like this with latino characters on the lead um on the theaters uh because why not like it's 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 all good <laughs> <You know? laughs> yeah it's unfortunate that there was a strike and and that there were a lot of other stuff happening but still people loved it kids love it like we wanted to do this for 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 us we wanted to do this for the the younger generation and we wanted to do something that just felt uh representative of what or a glimpse of what we can offer so hopefully this is the first of many i hope so i hope so um especially with that tease at the end come on i mean you can't leave <laughs> us on that note that would kill me <laughs> Do you have any I plans agree. I in agree. your head for Ted Cord? Do you have thoughts on where he could come in? We do. We we always we always did, uh, and and we still do. Uh, Gareth Dunet Alcosen, our writer, uh, and and I, we've always flirted with the idea that this is the first act of a saga. So, um, it, one of the best, at least for us, reading the the the, the Jaime Reyes story. Uh, his relationship with Ted and Booster Goal is one of the most exciting ones. So, you know, let's see what happens. But uh, <laughs> but I think there there there's a lot of fun to be had. Yes, and then we've got to talk about this cast because I mean, not just Sholo, who's a, the perfect choice, by the way. Uh, but Susan Sarandon as a villain, like what? <laughs> like <laughs> George Lopez, hilarious, had me cracking up the whole time. So, like, did this feel like a dream cast for you? It it did it did. Uh, I think one of the the greatest thing was being able to to work with 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 actors and who are now friends uh, that really took uh, took it seriously. They took they take their fun seriously and they knew that what they were doing um, is gonna impact a lot of lives and hopefully is gonna change the way we do things. So. Uh, being able to channel those characters, embody them, uh, knowing that to a lot of them, they're they're actually performing uh, a version of themselves or an uncle that they knew, or mm -hmm. you know, there's so much that comes into honoring our ancestors and the people that came before us, uh, or the people that we can become. Uh, that I think everybody that dove into it understood the aesthetic, including Susan. Um, she, right off the bat, as an ally that she is, she understood what her character represented. And she understood that it's not so black and white the way sometimes villains come across. Mm -hmm. And 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 the way she, she handled it was awesome. And she's very much aware of the issues that affect the Latino community. So she was perfect for it. Uh, and Sholo, of course, Sholo is not only a copy paste of Jaime <laughs> Reyes in the comic physically, but his heart, uh, his personality uh, is, is very much in line with Jaime Reyes and the way he interacts with his family. And that's the first thing I remember of Sholo was uh, how much of a great person he is, how much of a caring and vulnerable uh human he is and for us it was about time to see a hero that doesn't live in individuality and embraces the collective and embraces vulnerability and finds strength 
through that unity um, that doesn't see family as weakness. Mm -hmm. um, for me, that was very important. Yeah, I mean, listen, I saw that video of you guys when he got the part and I was I got cry. I mean, <laughs> the movie had me crying, laughing, cheering. I've seen it multiple times now. I'm excited to own it now. Yeah. Um, and thank you so much for your time. It's just it's a beautiful film and I can't wait for more. Oh, no, same here, same here. So I hope everybody enjoys it at home. Uh, there's a lot of Easter eggs, a lot of fun to be had. And uh, I think that the, the more you see it, the more you pick up on things. Uh, mm -hmm. it's, it's, a, it's very layered. Yes. You know, it's very pur purposefully layered. And, um, you know, once you have the fun, then you see like, oh, wait, there's more to the fun and there's something deeper in it. So uh, it's definitely a good a good watch uh, yes. to have at home. <laughs> Absolutely. Thank you again for your time. I really appreciate it. Oh, thank you too. Thank you. And congratulations. <laughs> yeah. Thanks. Ciao. Thank you.